Okay, saddle up. We're moving out. Sarge, that ain't right. We just got here, Sarge. Well, Sarge, I just washed. You said rust and recreation were coming up. Yeah, well, I talk too much. We're going on a hike. Crowd Ponton Bridge. A couple of engineers are going to blow it up and wear their escorts. Where is this bridge, Sarge? A town called Shalom. What? Are they kidding? Shalom's four miles beyond the German lines. Yeah, well, why don't they bomb it? I don't know. The weather's got them socked in. The planes are grounded. Well, let's wait. Maybe it'll clear up. Sergeant, this is the engineer personnel. Sergeant Turk, Corporal McQuillan, Sergeant Saunders. Hi. They told me I'd have a platoon. Well, you were told wrong. The squad is all we can spare. Saunders, you'll be responsible for getting these men in and out. Sergeant Turk will be in charge at the bridge. Any questions? Oh, yeah, I got a question. How do I get 100 pounds of high explosives to that bridge and get out without being picked off by the cross with this outfit? Those are your orders, Sergeant. Now the truck will take you as close to the lines as it can get. Good luck. We'll get you to that bridge. <laughs> or die trying. in K rations, you know. Oh, boy, it sure makes me nervous snuggling up to this stuff. What happens if you get hit carrying it? It can't go off. You can shoot right into it and nothing could happen. He's right, only don't try it. It takes a detonator to set it off, a cap. They'll go off if they hit, but uh, we'll be carrying them. Works like this. Forget it, McQuillan. You get your chance to shine at the bridge. The only thing they have to know about Composition C is uh, how to carry it. All right, everybody, gather around here, huh? Here's where we are right now. This is the river and this is the bridge of Shalom. We can expect outpost lines here and enemy patrols all the way to the river. Now, we're not looking for a fight. Our mission is to get to the bridge. We're gonna go in here. What, what's so special about this bridge? How long have you been in the war, Ken? I came in at Normandy. Don't start acting like it, huh? By blowing up that bridge, we're going to cut off the German retreat. Tanks, trucks, guns, so we don't have to fight them all over again on the other side of the river. Are the crowds at the bridge yet? No, but they're pulling back fast. Any more questions? Cage, take the point. All right. You fall in the middle right behind Nelson here. If you trouble, you just follow my lead. Say, 
Sergeant, uh, I've been thinking. A guy sure has to know what he's doing when he's playing around with explosives. You know, I've had some experience with explosives. Not composition C. We see his dynamite. Back home on the farm, I used to help my dad blow stuff. Is that right? Yeah, but listen, Sarge. What I really wanted to say is I know more about Get blasting than... Get away from me. But I thought when we got to the bridge, I Look, could... Look, stump blower. If and when we get to that bridge, I don't want you anywhere around me. Do you understand that? I'll get back in the file where you belong. Are you trying to follow up this mission? It's a loose rock. I couldn't help it. You got loose brains. A guy with clumsy feet don't belong out here. All right, hold it. What happened back there was an accident. It could happen to you, me, or anybody else. From now on, you have any complaints against the men in the squad, you make them through me. I'll do that. Is Turk always that touchy? He's one of the best demolition men this Army's got. He's just worried you won't be able to get us to that bridge. Okay, let's move. Amerikanische Sprengstoffzünder. Was macht das hier? Ich weiß nicht. So, uh, wir melden das besser an, ja? 
Ja, ich platze. the sides, hide them in the trees. The pikes too. Tech's responsible for this. He fired a first shot. Well, what do you got to say now? This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't fired too soon. How do you think I'm going to set those charges throughout this primer cord, huh? Besides, those crowds would be on their way to report this patrol right now if I hadn't. Uh... You stump lower, you had no right sticking your nose in that pack. Let him alone, he's hurt. Get out of here. Look, I said let him alone. Boy, you guys are experts. First of all, you try to get rid of the primer cord, now you're trying to blow up the detonators, huh? Soldier, you are going to get court-martialed. I promise you that if we get out of this, you are going to be court-martialed. Is this what you got so hot about? You had to get off that early shot and get one of my men hit? That crowd had to be stopped. We would have stopped them as soon as little John took cover. Maybe, but that's a margin I can't afford, Sergeant. You know, we don't have much chance to get to that bridge as it is. If those crowds got away, we'd have no chance. Now, you listen to me. I'm going to remind you just one time. I'm in charge of this outfit until we get to the bridge. And if anything happens, I'll decide what we do about it. You got it? I said I'm okay. I'm gonna be there when the great master puts on his show. If you hadn't tangled with him, somebody else would. You had good reason. Not thanks. Hey, don't forget that, Willie, because you probably have to tell to a court martial when we get back. Yeah, it'd be a pleasure. Sorry. How's little John doing? He's okay. I've been talking with McQuillan, Sarge. He tells me Turks had a long go at this demolition mm -hmm. business without any relief. All right, come on, get to it. Well, he's been on these ulcer missions since Africa, Sarge. Sicily, Salerno, Normandy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to excuse him. I just thought it might help you know a little bit about him, that's all. All right, so I know a little bit about him. Well, too much tension and not enough rest is a tough combination, Sarge. You know that. The guy gets to think his luck's run out on him. Do you know the last time out he lost a long time, buddy? Well, who hasn't? What makes you think Turk is any different to me than any other GI I've been thrown in with? This is just another job. And I'm doing it. Yeah. Well, how about get on back? I understand you've been blowing up stuff since Africa. Medic told me you lost a buddy your last time out. Say like I am. Look, Turk, we drew each other. I didn't ask for this any more than you did. All right, you've been wrung dry, maybe, but you can better your chances now as if you'd slack off a little. Oh, I got it. Mother Hen's worried about her little chicks, huh? You think the little soft soap will make me drop my charges against that slug happy buddy of yours? Well, you're wrong. So why don't you stop trying to uh, understand and just do your job? Oh, it's not much. But you're all the protection I have. 
I'd feel a little bit better if you'd at least take your place up in the line. Kirby! trees will give us some cover. Say, Cage, you got the language and all. You ever think of staying over here after the war? Yeah, some. Sure is pretty. I think Wilkerson's dead. With me. Cage, you follow us. Come on, give us some cover here. After all this rack, we'll have to clear out fast. Keep your eyes open. Doc, I'm going to send you back with Cajun Little John. You can't make it all the way. You hold up in your weight. You got it? Right. Get the dead man. 
back. Don't touch those packs. We'll carry them. All right, let's move out. Hey, Kirby. What's the trouble? You're not keeping up. Well, I, I think it's my ankle, Sarge. I must have sprained it or something. Your ankle? Okay, let's take a look at it. When did it happen? Well, uh, it's, it's not serious. Uh, uh, I think I had a lace too tight for one thing, because it feels better already. How long have you been walking on this? This happened when you fell back at the cemetery, didn't it? Come on, Sergeant. I don't want to hold you up. You're holding us up right now. What do you think I'm doing back here? You're so far behind, we were losing you. There's nothing to it. It's a little sprain, that's all. Now, don't give me that. Don't you know Doc needed you? You at least can handle a rifle. You should have gone back with him. Okay, come on now. Start back. Try to catch up with Doc and give him a hand. Look, I'm not going back. And I'm not going to quit and give him a satisfaction. You're going back. The should be right around the bend, if you brought us the right way. Crouts. supposed to get here before the Germans pulled back this far. We were, Junior. Wasn't that close. They didn't just get here. There's more coming. You still think you can blow the bridge? Still think you can get me there? We haven't had a prayer of getting at it from this side. We're gonna have to cross the river. Billy, take off your packs. We'll hide them here. Turk, you stay here and watch the equipment. McQuillan, you look up and down the river. Try to find the boat, but keep out of sight. Billy, you come with me. We're going to scout what's left of that farmhouse up there. And we all meet back here in 30 minutes. Maybe this will do. There's a backwash down there, practically surrounded by brush. We can try it out there. But if it works, we'll lash everything on the top and make it in one trip. Could I load it up now? Then we'd be ready to go the minute it gets dark. Right. Billy, you go with me up the hill. We'll pick out a spot for you to dig in. You, you want me to stay on this side? You'll give us cover. Let's go.
Stop the crowd from getting off a shot. Where were you? Keeping the crowds off our necks is the escort's job. That's why you're here, Saunders. Looks like you blew it. Well, that Cotton Jr. up on the hill, at least two of us. I was right. They didn't send enough men. Tell me something, Turk. Why do you hate so much? You can get a lot done with hate. Let me put it another way. What are you afraid of? I'm only afraid of one thing, Saunders. That sometime, someplace, some jerk is going to get me killed. I've come a long way. When I was 17, I was setting charges in open pit mines. At 21, I was blowing oil wells. I'd hate to cash in now because some jerk who's not dry behind the ears, he got slops up a detail. But you know, Saunders, you don't have to go on with this. Nobody expected you and one man to hold off the whole German army while I blow a bridge. My orders are to get you to that bridge and back. That's what I'm going to do. That is, unless... unless you call it off. You got yourself an excuse, Turk. You lost your assistant. So it's your decision. Do we go? We go. This is where I take over. I'm gonna go up ahead and have a look, see. I'll be back to give you a hand with the stuff. Thank you. 
Sir, can you get up? Come on, get up. Up. Put your arms around me. Get up. Come on. You can make it. I'll get up and help it. course, and you're in no ship to do the job. Just listen to me and do like I say. Bust up that ball into three equal parts. Don't make the charges no bigger than that. Make about 20 of them. Then get the primer cord, cut it in three foot lengths. Put the end of the primer cord in each one of the charges. Three foot lengths of Franco. Now, what's next? Turk. Turk, what's next? Well, you take the rest of the primer cord and lay it out. That'll be your lead line. Then tie the charges on to the lead line about every four feet. Press the C2 in tighter on the primer cord. Right. And take your main roller primer cord and put it in one of those musette bags. And then take your charges and put them in last so that they'll feed out like a trout line.
Also warum war denn so wie Adam? Weil ich den Wein von ihm gestohlen habe. Was? Du hast ihm diesen Wein gestohlen? Diesen Wein habe ich von ihm gestohlen. Ja, schon, das ist jetzt zum Lachen. Komm, gib mir, lass mich saugen. Ich hab Durst. Ja, also nicht so viel. Ich bekomme auf einmal Flügel. Ich werde gleich oh, weg. Mann, also komm schon. Ja, ja, der Wein ist gut. Ich brauch kein neuer Hut. Ich setz mein Heute auf. Just relax now, expert. I'm trying to be nice and easy on you. Just relax. Don't you mother him me. Hold on. Hold on now. There we go. There we go. Oh, 
Don't die on me. Don't die on me, Turk. You're alive. You hear me? I'm gonna get you back alive, Turk. You're gonna live till I get you back. You're gonna live, Turk. Grab a hole. charges against Kirby and get him court-martialed. And I'm gonna find you. Get out of here, mother hen. Go back to your chicks. Chicks, huh? I fought with them ever since Normandy. They're good soldiers. And the reason they're out there all busted up is because they try to get you to the bridge. Get out of here. Just knock it off. You knock it off. You guys make me sick. Go on, look at yourselves. You can call yourself a squad. You're a bunch of goof-offs. Little John, you cause nothing but trouble. You mind everybody else's business but your own. Like poking around with that prime accord and then dropping it on the road. Now, from now on, you mind your own business and you follow orders. Kirby, Kirby! You're a hot-headed show-off who thinks of himself first and everybody else second. You fly off the hell every time you turn around. Now, cooling your heels off in some stockade may be just what you need, so you just better shape up. Oh, I've had it. This squad is gonna shape up. You've been on the front line so long, you're forgetting your soldiers. And I'm sick and tired of holding your hands every time we get the full line. Saddle up, we're moving out. Sarge, that ain't right. We just got here, Sarge. Well, Sarge, I just washed. You said rust and recreation were coming up. Yeah, well, I talk too much. We're going on a hike. Crowd Ponton Bridge. A couple of engineers are gonna blow it up and wear their escorts. Where is this bridge, Sarge? A town called Chalon. What? Are they kidding? Chalon's four miles beyond the German lines. Yeah, well, why don't they bomb it? I don't know. Weather's got them socked in. The planes are grounded. Well, let's wait. Maybe it'll clear up. Sergeant, this is the engineer personnel. Sergeant Turk, Corporal McQuillan, Sergeant Saunders. Hi. They told me I'd have a platoon. Well, you were told wrong. The squad is all we can spare. Sergeant. 
Saunders, you'll be responsible for getting these men in and out. Sergeant Turk will be in charge at the bridge. Any questions? Oh, yeah, I got a question. How do I get 100 pounds of high explosives to that bridge and get out without being picked off by the cross with this outfit? Those are your orders, Sergeant. Now the truck will take you as close to the lines as it can get. Good luck. We'll get you to that bridge. <laughs> or die trying. K rations, you know. Oh boy, it sure makes me nervous snuggling up to this stuff. What happens if you get hit carrying it? It can't go off. You could shoot right into it and nothing could happen. He's right, only don't try it. Takes a detonator to set it off, a cap. They'll go off if they hit, but uh, we'll be carrying them. Works like this. Forget it, McQuillan. You get your chance to shine at the bridge. The only thing they have to know about Composition C is uh, how to carry it. All right, everybody, gather around here, huh? Here's where we are right now. This is the river and this is the bridge of Shalom. We can expect outpost lines here and enemy patrols all the way to the river. Now, we're not looking for a fight. Our mission is to get to the bridge. We're gonna go in here. What, what's so special about this bridge? How long have you been in the war, Ken? I came in at Normandy. Don't start acting like it. By blowing up that bridge, we're going to cut off the German retreat. Tanks, trucks, guns, so we don't have to fight them all over again on the other side of the river. Are the Grouts at the bridge yet? No, but they're pulling back fast. Any more questions? Cage, take the point. All right. You fall in the middle right behind Nelson here. If you have any trouble, you just follow my lead. Sergeant, uh, I've been thinking, a guy sure has to know what he's doing when he's playing around with explosives. You know, I've had some experience with explosives, not composition C. We see his dynamite. Back home on the farm, I used to help my dad blow stuff. Is that right? Yeah, but listen, Sarge, what I really wanted to say is I know more about Get away from than... me. But I thought when we got to the bridge, I Look, could... stump blower. If and when we get to that bridge, I don't want you anywhere around me. Do you understand that? I'll get back in the file where you belong.
behind him along the base of the slope. All right. Crowd outpost. We'll slip up the hill behind them. That's the word. Are you trying to foul up this mission? It's a loose rock. I couldn't help it. You got loose brains. A guy with clumsy feet don't belong out here. All right, hold it. What happened back there was an accident. It could happen to you, me, or anybody else. From now on, you have any complaints against the men in the squad, you make them through me. I'll do that. Is Turk always that touchy? He's one of the best demolition men this Army's got. He's just worried you won't be able to get us to that bridge. Okay, let's move. Amerikanischer Sprengstoffzünder. Was macht das hier? Ich weiß nicht. So, uh, wir merken das besser an, ja? Ja, ich glaube so. to the sides, hide them in the trees. The pikes too.
Terry's responsible for this. He fired that first shot. Well, what do you got to say now? This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't fired too soon. How do you think I'm going to set those charges throughout this crime record, huh? Besides, those crowds would be on their way to report this patrol right now if I hadn't. Uh... You big expert, you stump lower, you had no right sticking your nose in that pack. Let him alone, he's hurt. Get out of here. Look, I said I'm... let him alone. Boy, you guys are experts. First of all, you try to get rid of the primer cord, now you're trying to blow up the detonators, huh? Soldier, you are going to get court-martialed. I promise you that if we get out of this, you are going to be court-martialed. Is this what you got so hot about? You had to get off that early shot and get one of my men hit? That crowd had to be stopped. We would have stopped them as soon as little John took cover. Maybe, but that's a margin I can't afford, Sergeant. You know, we don't have much chance to get to that bridge as it is. If those crowds got away, we'd have no chance. Now, you listen to me, I'm going to remind you just one time. I'm in charge of this outfit until we get to the bridge. And if anything happens, I'll decide what we do about it. You got it? be a hero. We got a long way to go. I said I'm okay. I'm gonna be there when the great master puts on his show. If you hadn't tangled with him, somebody else would. You had good reason. Yeah, thanks. Hey, don't forget that, will you? Because you probably have to tell to a court martial when we get back. Yeah, it'd be a pleasure. Sorry. How's little John doing? He's okay. I've been talking with McQuillan, Sarge. He tells me Turks had a long go at this demolition mm -hmm. business without any relief. All right, come on, get to it. Well, he's been on these ulcer missions since Africa, Sarge. Sicily, Salerno, Normandy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to excuse him. I just thought it might help you knew a little bit about him, that's all. All right, so I know a little bit about him. Well, too much tension and not enough rest is a tough combination, Sarge. You know that. The guy gets to think his luck's run out on him. Do you know the last time out he lost a long time, buddy? Well, who hasn't? What makes you think Turk is any different to me than 